Um, you know, nice way for us to go to Christmas playing well the last two games out. Um, I, I thought we played very well uh, tonight, especially offensively. And I thought our defense, except for the first four minutes of the game, was pretty good. I thought our defense in the, you know, the last 15, 16 minutes of the half was really good. That's where we got a, where we pulled away a little bit, got better bench production. I thought Dylan and, and RJ really helped us. Uh, ben, Josh, that was good uh, just to give us some good minutes. And certainly our older players, PJ and Hunter, were outstanding in terms of finishing around the basket. I uh, thought we did a nice job of having a good mix of, of uh, scoring inside. They do a good job of guarding the three. And, and when we got the lead, I thought they got extended a lot in both man and zone. And so our guys did a nice job of, of attacking them inside out. Questions? Going into the game, do you feel like you could get the ball inside offensively? Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we play, you know, that way, maybe a little more old school than some. Obviously, when you have somebody as talented as PJ, you're going to try to get him touches. Um, so, yeah, that, you know, that's part of it. Tech does an unbelievable job. I mean, they take care of the ball great and they defend the three extremely well. And so, you know, those are those are hard things. Uh, when the team doesn't turn it over, you know, you know you're going to have to guard, uh, force them to miss. Uh, and then if you're not going to get threes in this game, you know, against these guys, you've got to play very well to score inside a lot of baskets. And that's not easy to do. Um, tonight we were able to do that. It helped that we had to lead. Uh, and that probably spread them out a little bit. So, uh, but our guys did a nice job of, you know, again, we had 20 assists again. This has been a team that has really shared the ball all year. We're, we're a pretty good passing team. We work on our passing a lot. And so uh, that's been a, a real positive for this group. Coach, about 14 minute mark, DJ Hall picks up his third foul. About a minute and a half later, he back in the game. Just felt needed him back out there. He's an older, experienced player. He, he, you know, he's a guy you can throw the ball to, and good things happen. And so it was just a matter of of making sure that he got the time that he needed. I don't want him, you know, I don't want him to finish the game with three fouls and play ten less minutes, you know, because he's on the bench. PJ still coming back from his, you know, his two off season surgeries. His conditioning is better. This is one of the, the most minutes he's played all year. He's got a lot of games where he's played you know, 15 minutes, 17 minutes. Um, so for us to be able to get him to this level tonight was really significant. Talk about the patience there coming down the stretch on the offensive side of the ball when Clemson, uh, when the Tigers uh, yeah. broke the full court press, how patient? Yeah, I think there's a mix there, right? You're trying to, you know, we didn't want to just take the air out of the ball, but we also, you know, wanted to be smart about how we attacked, right? Galloway took one right at the beginning, you know, of a shot clock. I probably didn't love it. And he made it. Um, but I thought we did do a nice job of not doing that a bunch, right? Like they're, they're being aggressive, they're gambling. So there are some advantage situations. You know, we got a PJ got a big uh, three point play on a play where Hunter drove it down after beating the press and dropped it off. That was a good big basket where they had maybe cut it to 12 or were making a run. So I think we were opportunistic about handling it enough to, to, to go score when we could, but not just getting racehorse basketball the whole time, uh, making it a pickup game in the second half, which I thought was important as well. Coach, uh, Max and Childress here from 105 yep. Outdoor. Lord. Uh, talk to me a little bit about RJ. It seems like he's been carving out more of a piece within the rotation and I uh, thought he played really well against Richmond, gave 11 great minutes tonight, yep. had the second highest plus minus yep. on the team, just really competing on both ends of the floor. And uh, talk to me a little bit about his work ethic during practice and just carving out more of yeah. a, a spot in the rotation. Well, he, you know, part of it with RJ is just knowing what to do, right? And understanding um, all the things that, that are required. Um, but man, his athleticism, his a his uh, aggressiveness, his confidence. Uh, he plays downhill. He's one of those guys that physically, you know, is ready. And so he impacts the game. Um, you know, there are times he plays a little bit too fast, but 
today he was terrific. I mean, his minutes in the first half were big for us because we weren't playing quite as well. He gave us a, a real boost. Um, our guys love him. I mean, he's got a, he's a phenomenal young man. He's got a great personality. He comes to work every day, wants to get better, wants to be coached. Um, he's going to be a really good player. And uh, the game is, you know, slowly slowing down for him a little bit. Um, so he's playing and seeing a few more things. Um, but I thought he played very well against Richmond and again backed it up tonight. So that's that's really important for us. One more if you don't yep. mind. Uh, Hunter Tyson and Chase Hunter, they seem to be putting up a lot of minutes right now, you know, over the season. Which they hasn't been playing a lot. I know he's still battling a little bit with the knee, but you know, I assume a lot of that is just trust. Hunter Tyson blocked yeah. 39 minutes tonight, Chase yeah, Hunter blocked 36. Just talk about kind of the growth of these guys over the course of their career, the leadership roles that they're taking on and yeah. how they've established that trust with you to play big minutes. Well, obviously those guys have been with me for, you know, four and five years. And so we've been through it together. Both of, you know, those guys were freshmen that played sparingly sometimes and both have dealt with injuries throughout their career. And I'm just so happy for them and proud of them that it's what you want in college sports. You want kids to grow, get better. It's our whole Clemson grit motto. You hang in there and keep battling and fighting and persevere and, and, and don't give in. And both those kids have done that. And uh, they're both really good players. And uh, Hunter's kind of the heart and soul of our team. I mean, he's just, he's a warrior out there. He gives you everything he's got every day. He's a tremendous leader, uh, tremendous competitor. Chase is doing so much. You know, he can score. He, he gets assists. He guards good players. He handles the ball. You know, he's just tremendously made made major progress as a player and so you're just really happy for those guys and um you know yeah you're reluctant to take them out <laughs> Brad you mentioned the team's passing and I thought also that the guys are moving well without the ball getting behind the yeah. for those layups like how big of a I guess, priority was that for you, how you wanted to attack them? yeah I thought we attacked it really well especially early in the game um I think maybe they played this man first possession we might have scored and then they went zone for several possessions and we scored against that. They were scoring as well. Um, so, yeah, we obviously prepared for it a lot. And, you know, I thought our guys moved the ball. I think our passing is good. And so we were able to move the ball and and find guys when they're open and, and make some good passes that led to led to led to scores or, or good opportunities anyway. And so that was that's key when you play these guys. If anybody in Zoom has anything, feel free to go ahead. <laughs> Brad, it's Matt. Do you know how long Alex might be out? No, um, just plantar fascia. And, you know, we don't know. I mean, obviously, being off of it's going to be good. But I think this is going to be one of those lingering injuries all year that, you know, is going to be a little bit of a challenge for us. Um, obviously, you know, that's it's hard because he's a good player and he's an older player and he's kind of a security blanket guy that just all knows what to do and is usually in the right spot, both ends. And, but, you know, it was good. Dylan got to play a lot tonight, played well, um, different kind of player moves chase over to the two some, um, but no, I don't really know where that's, that's going to be. And then without him tonight, not shooting well from three to still score almost 80 points, just, had to be pretty pleased with the offense and what you saw from from that group tonight. Yeah, yeah, our offensive efficiency, thirty one baskets, hard to that's a lot of baskets. Um, we didn't have a million free eleven free throws, twelve free throws maybe, and and only five threes. And so some of it again, I think we you know we were able to get the ball in good places because we had a lead and they were spread and some things happened for us. But uh, you know our guys did a nice job. The, the passing was was really good and and. Uh, our bigs did a nice job of finishing, you know, 12 feet and in. Got time for one more if anybody has one. Uh, Tech hit their, I think, five out of their first eight shots. Uh, coming out of the timeout, it seemed like you guys really ramped up your defense. Was there a message to the team? Uh, yeah, we got to do better, right? I mean, <laughs> as simple as it is, it's, you know, it surprised us a little. I think they 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 were really cutting hard, moving hard. We knew they were fast, but they played fast tonight, really fast. And, uh, you know, probably had us on our heels just a little bit at the beginning, and we we didn't handle it very well. Um, but I think our guys settled in. We have an older team. I think we did settle into the game. Then, you know, okay, we're scoring. We're fine. Like, But we got to now put some focus here on what we're trying to get done. And we missed a couple things switch-wise that we had practiced to do, and that didn't work. And so we ended up scrapping that a little bit and just 
you know, kind of hunkering down and, and uh, our guys did a better job. Okay. Thanks everybody. Thank you.